With that infrastructure bill likely to pass, those of us living on both sides of the Ohio River are closely watching, especially because the Brent Spence Bridge is a prime candidate to get funding. David Winter takes a look at what would happen next. As the Brent Spence Bridge slowly reopens this weekend after seven months of maintenance, getting back up to speed is a relative term. For years, the bridge has been squeezing through twice the amount of traffic for which it was designed. So the thought of the infrastructure bill passing breathes new life into a 30-year fight. This bill is finally a bill that we see there'll be major federal money um, dedicated to a bridge. The Northern Kentucky Chamber of Commerce's Kristen Baldwin says it's a bit early to count the money. Leaders in Ohio and Kentucky would have to apply for and get granted the federal funds. Then they would also likely need to approve additional state funds. The infrastructure bill is probably not going to cover the total cost of this bridge. That is what we are understanding. After all, the cost of the bridge is only part of the expense. Hundreds of millions will be needed to build the on-ramps, off-ramps, and new interchanges necessary for the project. But a lot of this pre-design work has already been done. A lot of water has passed under the bridge, as they say. Well, we went through the whole uh, time study selection, and the report was written, and, you know, two cable state bridges and an arts were considered the finalists at that point. Miguel Rosales is president of the design firm that 10 years ago created the three finalists for companion bridges to be built next to the Brent Spence. And it should not only be about the functionality, it should also be about the context, the aesthetics, you know, how it fits in the landscape. And what is the impression that it will cost when you, you know, come into that area? For many, the best statement a new bridge could make is, I'm done. I think until they physically are able to drive across the bridge, they won't believe it. David Winter, Local 12 News. Well, traffic on the repainted and refurbished Brent Spence Bridge will be fully restored by Monday morning. So both tonight and tomorrow night, travel north across the bridge will be down to one lane. Also tomorrow night, police will be conducting rolling roadblocks, stopping traffic in 15-minute increments. The goal is to have all northbound lanes open by 6 o'clock Sunday morning. By 4 Monday morning, the ramp from I-7175 north from 4th Street in Covington will be back open.